Well, I decided to replicate the air circuit slash uh, uh, device for picking up telluric currents or earthquake vibrations. Anyway, this is Byron's circuit that he put up. It's from the old, uh, actually I don't have a schematic of it, but um, Ethan remade it as well. Just today he put up a video on it. So I got excited and I had to put it together. So basically I just used these little single 1K diodes to accomplish the same thing. These four capacitors, these are those five microfarad ones. This red wire is my 120 positive. And this black wire here is my is actually an earth ground, so it's going to my ground rod outside there. And um, so the output of this, I put my meter across it, off the charts, can't even read it. Um, presumably 2,000 volts, as Ethan indicated earlier. But I can't read it. When I unplug it, the meter recovers about 900 volts and starts decreasing. Uh, so there is some kind of draw to ground, so it does bleed itself off after a while. So what I've done with that is I've taken it and taken the two outputs, I ran them into two high voltage condensers here, give me a little extra current, and I ran it into the room core. So the high voltage output of that, we're getting some extra capacity here, and I'm using it to drive the room core, which has seen better days. However, as you'll probably see when it's running. Across the vibrator pin, we get uh, 20 microfarads of capacitance, and I'll probably have to play with it, but it's plugged in right now, it's charging. And what you see here when I start it up, I got these, got some high voltage coming off this, it's driving this MOT here. So it's coming off the secondary. I don't have the kilowatt plug in to show what it's doing. It's probably drawing a load at this point. But. It's useful. I had it driving that motor earlier with just the, the high voltage out off of here. But there is enough current to drive this room corp too. Oh yeah, look at that. That's the clip lead. It's getting a little ridiculous. I hold it off for a really long time and let it fire. Wait. Much louder arc. This thing needs some better fine tuning. I may have too much capacitance on here. Let me try to pull some of this off real quick. Hold on. Okay, there we go. It's a little there. I'm going to give it a good tap. It's, uh, I took two off, so we're only running 10 microfarad across the vibrator. This could use just a hair more current to get this thing a little more stable. but. Got, let's see if I can get a light bulb on that real quick. Yeah, well, maybe not. I'll make another video in a minute where I'll hook it up to that guy. I can see if I can do anything with that. Maybe add another laden jar like that fishbowl there to help out. Using the ground rod, not even using the house neutral. My neutral's not hooked up. It's still, don't pay any more attention to these. These guys, they're from something else. Just using the board. And with the lights off. Cool.